If you're a part-time real estate agent looking to go full-time, this is gonna be the video for you. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk about how to go from a, being a part-time real estate agent to transitioning into being a full-time real estate agent. And this is something I know a lot about because when I first started in real estate, I was 20 years old. It took me eight long months to make my first sale. And that entire time, I was a part-time agent. Okay, so I was working a full-time job, roofing houses with my father. And when I, was off, when I got off work in the evening, I would try to do a little real estate. I was really tired from working all day. And if I ever had a day off, you know, as a roofer, you don't really get a lot of days off. You have to work weekends a lot of times because we have to try to get the job done. But one day that I get off every single time is when it's raining, right? So when it rained, we couldn't roof. I got that time to work on my real estate. So it was very difficult. I didn't really have a set schedule or something that I could say, okay, these are the days I have off. So this is what I'm going to do, da, da, da. It was more like uh, spontaneous days off, and so I couldn't really structure anything. It was really tough, and I was 20 years old, really want to succeed, so eight months is a long, long time for a 20-year-old who wants everything right now, and you know it's taken all this time to, to get to a first deal. Now, one thing that I think is very interesting is the fact that once I got into the business, about a year and a half into the business, I made my first sale after eight months, and I started selling two a month, and after about a year and a half, I, I had learned enough by that time to look back at that eight month period that I didn't sell anything, and I recognized opportunities within that eight month period that I could have capitalized on and made transactions happen, but I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't see the signs that the people were showing me. I didn't know how to you know, capitalize on it and make it happen because I was inexperienced. So that's what I wanna to try to help you with right now is being able to spot those opportunities. I wanna give you some real actions to take um, as a part-time agent that will help speed the process up to get you to that full-time status. The first thing I want you to do, because this video is really gonna be fire, is please hit that like button and shoot me a comment below. And if you're listening to my podcast or following me on Instagram or LinkedIn or subscribe here and you haven't signed up for my completely free real estate coaching program, what are you doing? It's completely free, there's a full course, 90 day action plan, phone scripts, the whole nine yards, full access to me, I'll do anything to help you. So that's at zero2diamond.com, just go there and sign up, totally free. Okay, first I wanna talk about the actions you need to take, right, while you're a part-time agent, try to speed that process up, and then I wanna go into maybe trying to help you identify some of these opportunities that you could be missing out because of your inexperience. The first thing I would do is go to zero2diamond.com and get that 90-day action plan, okay, and read through that so you can kinda of understand the structure of our business and what we're really trying to accomplish here. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to carve out one of your days off. I want you to time block a four hour call session. Okay, once a week, I want a four hour full call session from you. Okay, so as a full-time agent, I believe in the three by three. That's three hours a day, three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay? But as a part-time agent, you don't have that luxury. So for you guys, I want you to do one four to five hour, you can do five hour, you can do more if you want to, okay? I'm not saying just stop there, but I am saying that this is a very, this is something that you can commit to, okay? Four hours once a week as a part-time agent, something that you can commit to and that you can do every single week, right? And you should be consistent with that. So I want you to time block a four hour call session once a week. Okay, so who should we be calling during this four hour call session? So. Our, our goal, our objective here are two things, okay? As an agent period, especially in the beginning, okay, we want to be building our database, okay? We have to be putting a database in place, okay? We have to be building that database. We want a large number of people in our database getting information from us on a consistent basis so that we're slowly starting to build our brand, okay, with the people that we have in our database. And then we're trying to find more people to put into the database so we can continue building that brand with them. And then more people, more people, more people make the database as big as we can, right? And now we're building brand with these people. We're just gonna keep going with it, okay? And the second thing that is the most important objective that you have as a new agent is that you just need to get one deal under your belt. 
Okay, we need one deal under our belt so that we can get some momentum in the business. So I'm gonna link my sphere of influence video below that tells you exactly how to approach your sphere of influence to try to win them over as clients without being pushy, without being salesy, without feeling awkward. Okay, so I want you to follow the advice in that video and I want you to go after your sphere of influence, right? In a very low pressure way, but I want you to work hard, I want you to really contact them and I want you to start extracting those email addresses. Our database is gonna consist of cell phone numbers, addresses, and email addresses, okay? We're gonna be doing a weekly email every single week on the same day of the week forever. I will also link my weekly email training video below and within that video, there's a link where you can start your weekly email and get my exact template with constant contacts. So you need to get your, you need to start your weekly email and get that going, get that in place. That's something you're gonna do every single, I do it on Wednesdays, you pick your day, but you're gonna do it on that day every single week forever. This is what's gonna build your brand with your database. So we're gonna approach our sphere of influence. We're gonna work on those people during that four hour call session. If this is your first week in real estate, that four hour call session or day off should be your sphere of influence. So we're gonna go after those people, see what we can do to help them, see if they have an agent that they would work with, say we would love to work with them when the time comes. Everything that's in that video, we're gonna get their email and we're gonna start building our brand with those people who already know us, but this email is gonna brand, they know us as you know their friend or their family, but now we're gonna start branding ourselves as their agent. Hopefully through calling our sphere of influence and being very low pressure and letting them know that we're just here to help them and work hard for them, we're gonna find people that wanna do a deal today, right? We're gonna find that most people wanna do deals later, right? They'll call us when they get ready kind of thing, but you know, we wanna take advantage of those people, put them in our database, right? And we're gonna cultivate those relationships. However, we're also looking for people that wanna do deals today, okay? So the way that I do my business, the way that I build my business is I wanna to talk to everybody. I wanna, I wanna capture everyone as a future client, right? and they may want to do a deal today, they may want to do a deal in the future, right? Either way is fine with me in this way, I'm gonna find the people that want to do deals now, I'm gonna find people that want to do deals later, so I'm building my business short term and long term all at the same time. Hopefully we get through our sphere of influence, we find somebody that wants to do a deal, if not, that's okay. We're gonna to go to step two in this process and we're gonna hopefully get all the sphere of influence in our database, they're getting the weekly email. Okay, now we're gonna move over to for sale by owners, right? This is the next step as a new agent, as a part-time agent, we're, we're trying to go for that deal that we can find today. All right, so the next step is for sale by owners. I have an incredible for sale by owner strategy. It is to help for sale by owners for free. We want to approach them, we want to ask them all about the house. We want to find out why they are selling, okay? We want to really relate to why they're selling and that's what's gonna help us go deep with that relationship. All right, and then we're gonna ask if there's an agent they would work with if they were to list it and we're gonna tell them we want to help them sell this for free. We want to give them advice. We're not gonna list it for free. We just want to give them the best advice. We want to help them get it on MLS. There's companies that will let for sale by owners get their properties on MLS, right? Why would we do that, Ricky? We're just, we're making it to where they don't need us. But here's the thing, if we find out why they're selling, you know, chances are they're gonna upgrade, they're moving, right? And we can help them with their next property that they're buying. And if we help them for free sell the property they have, looky here, we're gonna help them buy that next property. Let's go through the scenarios. If you help them for free, you help them get on MLS, make sure there's professional pictures, help them with the price, remarks, you know, online, and they sell it themselves, they're gonna buy with you. Okay, if you help them with all that and then three weeks down the road, three months down the road, whatever, they decide they wanna throw the towel in, they're just gonna real estate agent list it, who do you think they're gonna list it with? You, right? So there's, there's really no way you can lose here. And even if they sell it and go somewhere else, another market, they never call you again, they stop returning your calls and you helped them for free and they sold the property, you really didn't spend that much time on it and that's no different than other clients that don't call you back. So really, you haven't really lost anything and the object here is, is to do it across many for sale by owners. If you just do it to one and you feel like you got screwed over, yeah. No, you screwed yourself over because you're not talking to enough people. If you did this with 20 for sale by owners, 10 for sale by owners, 30 for sale by owners, I promise you, within the next 60 days, you're gonna have deals under contract from helping for sale by owners for free. 
And there's agents that message me all the time that have been using this strategy and they're absolutely crushing it. I'm gonna link a video below for you to watch me make live calls to for sale by owners telling them I wanna help them for free and I actually got a listing. So once you've gotten through your sphere of influence and all the for sale by owners in your area, you should be putting some deals together somewhere, somehow. Okay, remember to always follow my recipe of relationships over transactions. Always put the people first. Find out what's going on with them, how you can help them. Don't try to convert before you connect. Okay, connect first, then convert. As soon as you get through all of that, okay, regardless if you've got deals or not, you're gonna get through all those people. Hopefully you've got some deals going on and you can start transitioning into being a full-time agent. Stage three of this process is expireds. I want you to go to Red X, right? There's a link in the description where you can save the $150 startup fee. I want you to start an account. I want you to get Geo Leads, Onyx Expires, and a dialer. And the expireds, what they do is they'll automatically just send you all the expireds every day in your market. Your, their phone numbers, all the information, the MLS stuff, everything. And so what I want you to start doing on your four hour call sessions is you didn't make calls all week so those expires just built up, right? If you didn't call expires for two or three weeks, they're just gonna build up in your, in your folder. I want you to go through that list and start calling those people and just follow the scripts of how can we help you. You know, we, I'm enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous? Look, I don't wanna take too much of your time, but I saw your property expired off the market and didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm also gonna put a link below of a video um, that I did recently calling expired properties live. Once you get through all that, you're gonna have a lot of follow-up work to do. I want you to start working on your follow-up, okay? And then stage four of this process, you're gonna move into what I want you to do long-term here, and that's circle prospect with the geo leads out of Red X, okay? If you don't know what circle prospecting is, again, I'm gonna link another video below um, that's a, about an hour long webinar where I explain circle prospecting, okay? So I'm trying to give you as much information as I can in the smallest time possible, and I'm linking all kinds of stuff below because I want you to have all the resources that you need where there's zero excuses. After you watch this video, you as a part-time agent have zero excuses not to put the work in and make this happen, right? And transition into a full-time agent. Remember, as a full-time real estate agent, you set your own schedule, you get to make as much money as you wanna make, it's a dream job, right? Well, if it's so great and wonderful, naturally, it's not gonna be easy to get started or everyone would do it. And this will make you respect the, the industry a lot more or respect your career. And you know what you put in to get where you are once you do get on top. So I think the main thing here is the four hour call session once a week on your day off and the weekly email. Those are two things that need to be constant right in your life and in your business moving forward as a part-time agent as you're trying to transition into a full-time agent where that four hour call session will turn into the three by three three hours three days a week right and now we'll be doing all these things full-time instead of just part-time and you know guys as a part-time agent transitioning to a full-time agent it's just par for the course it's just part of the journey every single agent has to go through this um, unless you're just independently wealthy or you know you saved up a lot of money and you're able to just live off of it for a while but even that's a scary thing because you don't know how long you're gonna have to live off of your savings that's never a good place to be you always need income coming in I always tell everybody when a good time to transition and to really take that step is when you've replaced your current income with income from real estate you know that's the safest bet but a lot of people have a lot of confidence and they just make that move. They see that it's gonna be profitable and that they're gonna be successful and they just do it. That's kind of what I did. Um, well, not really. I actually I actually did replace my income because I wasn't making much roofing, right? I was only making like three or $400 a week at the most. And so the two deals a month was a lot more than than the three or $400 a week, so. Cool, I know this video is gonna help so many of you. I'm really stoked to post it, 
And uh, you know, like I say, shoot me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. And I wanna hear about your journey, right? So DM me on Instagram and let me know how it's going. I love getting messages from you guys telling me your little successes along the way. And I love answering questions on there. So please hit me up there if you need anything at all. That's the best place to find me. I would ask if there's anything else I can do for you, but I literally think I just did everything in this video. So until the next video, let's go. Thank you.